Section 6 Dashboard Authoring in Detail In this section, you will create a full-blown dashboard from scratch. Along the way, you will learn many useful aspects of dashboard creation. By the end of this section, you will have a multi-tabbed dashboard that is impressive, functional and conveys a message. This section is made up of four videos. The first video is called How to Change Visualization Properties. Next one is about singletons, static text and display order. Third one is called Changing Widget Connections. And the last one is about creating navigation groups for drill down. 6.1 how to change visualization properties. In your story, you are the sales director of Go Sales Incorporation. And so far, you are able to generate stitched facts that compare actual sales to potential sales at product line level over 12 months of 2010. So now you are intending to call a meeting to discuss this further. In order to drive the meeting, you can create a dashboard targeted around sales quantity and gross profit. In this video, you are going to focus on how to change basic properties of the visualizations like colors, legend, etc. You will also look at tabbed dashboard and templates. So let's create a new dashboard. And this time we'll choose the option of tab. And within the layout, we will pick one of the layout which has got the sections that we would like to use for the dashboard. These layouts or templates allow a quick placement of the objects that we will see next. For the source, let's choose 5.4 stitched data data module that we created in the previous section. Open stitched actuals and potential sales and pull quantities and drop it here in the middle where it says drop here to maximize. Notice that now it has created the figure or an object which is already maximized to fill the section where you drop the object. Let's pull potential sales and drag on top of it. And let's drag. And let's drag month key. So as expected, Cognos has now created a chart that is showing me actual sales and potential sales over months. Because my potential sales is only available for 2010, I only want to compare actuals and potential for the months of 2010. So I'll put a local filter by expanding this visualization. Because I want to filter on year 2010, I will drag current year and pull into local filters and choose 2010. I also want to change my potential sales to show as line and I can see that my actual sales quantity is already moved to column. Now let's see what other changes we can do to this visualization. For that, click on this properties button on top right. And now I'm presented with many options which will basically allow me to make changes to this visualization. For example, I can change the color of the bars. I can also change the color of the line. And I can also make changes to the symbols which are shown on the line, which are currently donut. And I can change them to, say, cross. I can choose to hide the access titles here which are quantity and potential sales and month key. Or in this case, I would rather prefer to show them here and hide the legend by clicking on this button. If I click on general, 
I can choose the border color for this visualization. I can choose if I want to fill any color here in the white space instead of having it white, I can show it as black, for example. But in this case, I'll just keep it as transparent. And I can change the opacity of the visualization as well. When you are happy, just minimize this visualization and any changes that you did would take effect. And let's hide properties pane by clicking back on this button. The next thing I want to do is rename this tab. In order to do that, you have to click on the tab and then choose edit the title option and let's call it as lost opportunity and for any reason if i'm not happy with the layout which is right now comprising of one large section and four small sections on top i can again click on the tab name and then click on change template icon and pick any other layout that I would like to use on this tab. So this is the first tab of the dashboard which I'm going to use in my meeting. And what I want to do is I want to basically highlight the importance of increasing sales in certain areas. Let's save this in my content as 6.1 sales meeting pack click on save so let's uh, summarize this video so you saw that templates provide layouts divided into separate sections and when you pull a visualization in the middle of a section it maximizes to fill the entire section this way you can quickly arrange the objects on the dashboard you also looked at how to open the properties pane to change various characteristics of the visualization and you also learned how to rename the tab.